All right, I got one and a half hours. I got an empty truck. Let's see how much we can find dumpster diving. It should be atmosphere at 17,000 miles an hour. So if you... Hmm. USB cable. So after Halloween, people are always putting out bales of hay. We love using this stuff for our chickens. So I'm taking it. And a free rake. All right, we got a rotted out fire pit. Ooh, pretty light, but I'll take it. Oh boy, we got some chocolate. So I found these at a different pharmacy like just a week ago. I guess nobody really likes these Ferrero Rocher chocolates. There was also a very heated debate in the comments about how to pronounce it, and I didn't really pay attention, so Ferrero Rocher, but these probably just expired, and these companies will go through once a week, and anything that's expired gets tossed in the trash. They will allege that it's a liability to give it to any kind of charity or anything, and I mean, you can only eat so much of this stuff too. Like it's it's not the best for you, but it doesn't deserve to go to a landfill just because some arbitrary Best Buy date has passed. In my humble opinion, ginger ale. Yeah, I'm thirsty. Ooh, milk. Sell by November seventh. Do you guys think I should take this milk? It's only today. I bet you it's still good. It's only like 50 degrees out here. I'm going to take this milk and I'm going to drink it. And y'all give me some hate in the comments. <sighs> Expensive. This is like 40 bucks of milk right here. But if you have some pharmacies near you like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, they're great places to get stuff like this because people don't really go there for food. They just kind of have it by chance. And so a lot of it goes quote unquote bad and they throw it out. Oh, dude, that's, what is this? Yeah, Andy's Mints, I'll take it. Nature's Valley, Gold Bomb. This, this stuff's all like full. Now the important part, we're going to put the top back on, put this back so they don't know we've been here because if we leave it like this and leave a bunch of bags ripped open, they're going to be like, oh, somebody's been in here. We should start locking this dumpster, but they don't need to know that. I'm thirsty, so I'm going to have a ginger ale. All right, there's some some Romex down in there. I'll hop in for that. I'm game. Stick the landing. Ugh. Oh shit! I ripped my glove. Ah. Uh -huh. See, this like boggles my mind. Like, if you're ripping this stuff out, it's worth like. 60 cents a pound, why wouldn't you just throw it in your truck and save it at home? Ow! Damn! Funny elbow. What a rat's nest. Oh. Ah! Oof. Oh, I hurt my elbow. I should sue the owner of this dumpster for damages because they let me in here and I'll bankrupt the person who owns the dumpster, the person who's doing the construction, 
the person who owns the building. Man, I can I can finally retire right off into the sunset with my dumpster legal suit money. That's what people that's what people allege, right? That if you get hurt in the dumpster, you're gonna sue somebody. This makes no sense. I got my rat's nest. I think that's all I'm gonna take from this dumpster. There's more metal here, but it's all I don't know, pretty light. I'll take my Romex and be happy. I think I'm at a Walmart. Kind of lost track. Oh my god, look at that tubing. Oh baby. Oh yeah. Oh man, okay. That was risky. Not for the fan of heart. More tubing down there. But I gotta deal with this mess I just made. Hoo -ah. Notice that I'm cleaning up my mess. One of the biggest things dumpster divers get shit for is leaving a mess. So, if you make a mess, clean it up. This is like 65,000 wall thickness metal tubing. That if you were to buy online or in a metal supermarket or something like that, it'd be pretty damn expensive. We're talking for the lengths that I have here, probably in the you know, multiple hundreds of dollars for this many pieces. That's why I got so excited. And this type of stuff, I am not gonna scrap. I save this type of stuff for projects, building new products. And there's more pieces too. Ah, it's fucking buried down here. You fuckers. Ugh, why'd you have to bury it? Ah, uh, there's so much tube metal tubing down there. I got some metal tubing. I'm happy. I can't get the buried oh. shit. Gotta keep on keeping on. I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of that. Sweet. Hey, baby. Ha. Huh. This is Bye Bye Baby. And instead of donating these returns to a place that would need them, They'll spray paint it and then rip up, tear up the straps so nobody can use it because, I don't know, that's, that's their method for preserving corporate profits, I guess. If you were to go in the store and ask any of the employees or like the executives, do you think it's a good idea that stuff would go in the trash versus getting donated to somebody who could use it? They'd probably individually say yes, but like for some reason they destroy everything, so. They spray paint everything with this orange spray paint. You know, I could still scrap it. So there's that, I guess, but like, what a shitty company. It's been an hour and a half. We filled the truck up, we got some food, some scrap. I'll do a review in the morning to show you specifically what we got, but it was a good run. Our biggest win here was that steel tubing. I looked it up online and to buy a six foot section of this one by one by 16 gauge steel tubing is $17 each. So that's $135 worth of steel right there. The wire is probably about five bucks and the steel is about five bucks. So call that $10. And then we got a hay bale for the chickens, which is, you know, priceless. Keep them warm in the winter, keep them happy. So definitely a successful hour and a half out there dumpster diving.